So, time is winding down and the gardening season is uh, almost over. Unless you're planting onions or garlic. garlic. (laughs) (laughs) You know, you should consider planting a cover crop. Now, we hear about cover in gardening, cover crops all the time. It's a little bit confusing. Why do I plant something like winter rye? You know, I spend most of my my summer trying to pull things out of my away from my plants and now I want to put something in that's going to grow like a weed it is biomass sounds fancy word green manure green manure and I don't mean like fresh manure like right from the horse's end I mean green manure that you grow now one thing that you may not know is that there are plants that will absorb nitrogen from the air and from the elements and then put it back into the soil. And, and it's called um, nitrogen-fixed plants that where the roots are colonized by a certain bacteria. And it extracts that nitrogen, again, and converts it into a form that it can be put back into the soil. So it really improves your plants. A lot of the, the types of ground covers to use are legumes. But to me, I think clover is the perfect ground cover uh it fills in real well and that it does it's easy to to sow and the best thing it covers enough so that it'll kill any of the weeds that may uh be overwintering and it's and it's a perfect thing so why don't you try it this year put down some clover red clover would be best and that you're gonna till it in and turn it over in this early spring before you plant and it's going to be turned over. And here you're not only turning in the plant and making organic matter back in, but you're actually adding some more nitrogen back into your soil. So again, it's a great thing to use. Use red clover as a cover crop. And you'll be amazed that it will, you'll, you won't be using, like for instance, we always say use bumper crop, use bumper crop. This is like growing your own bumper crop. Now bumper crop has things like, you know, earthworm castings and other things that, that this doesn't have, but it, it is the same concept where you're adding organic matter back into your soil that you just grew over the winter while your, your, your vegetable garden is dormant, and then you turn it in in the spring. You see farmers do it all the time. I mean, it is something that is done like regularly, but you don't think of it for a small garden, but here you go. You can do it, and it gives you the same benefit. So again, you're going to turn that over and you're going to turn it in sometime, probably March, April, and you're going to let it basically rot into the ground and it won't take long. And again, you're just going to turn it, turn it over into the soil, but you have to sow those clover seeds now. So again, go to your local garden center, tell them what you're doing. You're asking for a cover crop. You don't need a 50 pound bag. Okay. (laughs) No, and depending, well, maybe you got a really big garden. But uh, again, you're looking for a cover crop. I've seen them everywhere, as small as like small packets to like say a, a three pound bag of clover that you can put through. It's relatively inexpensive compared to like you're buying the same amount of fertilizer. And it's also, it makes your garden look clean. You know, rather than it just being bare soil and it not working over the season, you're going to put this in and then it's going to come up and it's going to grow. And then you'll turn it over into the spring probably eh, two three weeks before you're going to plant and there you go anything to add julio i like the fact that you know you're doing this for next year that's right yeah that's right so get out there throw some seed around there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll have the best garden ever <laughs>